Hello, my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. My name is Psychic Gigi, and I'm going to be doing your general mini love reading for November 15th through November 30th, 2019. Please like, share, excuse me, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and start off with one romance oracle angel card and see what our spirit guides would like us, my Scorpion, to know. Okay, finance and career. So some of you might be a little bit focused um, on, on your finances. There could be some issues going around your finances which is causing some issues in your relationship. So let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Okay, so the first card that I have is the Queen of Swords. Um, with the Queen of Swords, it's reversed. Um, <laughs> there might be some huge justification to drive others down, okay? This could be a male or a female, by the way. So she tends to be a little bit um, rude. Um, this could be somebody that you're dealing with at work, a um, type of controlling behavior. This could be you or someone else. But she's... Um, this energy is clearly someone who's kind of overcritical and harsh um, towards people around her, and she comes across a little bit rude and negative, but I really feel like um, she will call you out if you are not being fair or right in the relationship. This is you or someone else. The next card that I have is the Devil Rebirth. So with this, I feel like there's going to be some a, a detachment. Um, and it could be this person. This person might detach from you because they feel like they want their freedom, they're reclaiming their power, and they're definitely um, reasserting their control. So they might have feel like, felt like they were stuck. Um, you or your partner could have been um, feeling as if you were stuck in the relationship and you needed a way out by having to start to come out on the other side. So I feel like some of you are going to start coming out on the other side, taking your control back. Maybe your words are going to be harsh towards somebody else, but again, be mindful because um, this relationship might not have been able to come back. Um, from everything that has happened. But there's definitely somebody taking power back in around the relationship. The next card I have is the Three of Cups reverse, okay? Again, guys, this is someone who could, been, who could have been overindulgent in something. There could be, um, you might not feel like you really want to socialize right now. Um, and this also represents some cancellations and you might just be fed up with that. So you're like, you know what, I'm going to take my power back because this is, um, it also indicates a short-term relationship, so um, be careful if you do meet somebody new and it doesn't, um, it doesn't fully evolve, um, but just remember there's a good reason for this. If you are currently in a relationship, maybe there is a need um, to make some time for each other. Just, um, I would guess, but every time I see three, I always see like there's there's somebody who's causing a problem in around the relationship. So that might be the reason why my scorpions are feeling this way. Like they need to take their power back because somebody's interfering with their relationship and someone's allowing it. So a relationship is about two people, not about three people. The next card that I have is this two of pentacles reversed. Again, there is a lack of balance and this goes right back to our finances and careers. So you... Maybe you or your partner has been putting too much emphasis on trying to juggle too much, um, not finding enough time for the relationship, therefore you're not celebrating. Um, and you might have to also, this also indicates you might have to choose between two, two relationships. Maybe you have two relationships and you're trying to balance your finances at the same time. But it depends on you. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, if Definitely time to make a decision if you're going to commit the time that's needed for your relationship, whether it's new or current, or 
you're going to make more time to party a little bit. Because it definitely seems like you guys need a little bit more fun. Okay, so the next card I have is a Judgment Reverse. This also represents maybe um, being indecisive. Maybe the relationship um, you are doubting. The relationship that you are currently in or you're doubting... Um, that the relationship will move forward and it's time for the relationship to come to an end. But a decision definitely needs to be made when we do have the um, judgment reverse. So make sure that you have all of your facts correct. Make sure it's not just a third party and, you know, and again, there's a lot of factors here. But I definitely feel like my scorpions are going to be taking control back in around their relationship. And there are some past issues that you've learned from. And you're ready to move forward. And you're ready to take your power back. So that is absolutely amazing. Um, the next card I have is the Eight of Cups. Every time I see the Eight of Cups reverse, this is that person that maybe they needed a wake-up call. Like, wake the fuck up because um, you're facing them. You're looking at them. Um, you... You have been unhappy in the relationship, but you're un you're, you don't want to let it go. You're not ready to move forward. Um, you're just stagnated. You're fear. You also fear some commitment as well. Um, maybe there's a lack of emotional maturity, and it's been causing um, issues in around your relationship. So there could be some separations, but at the same time, this person, still in the background, still hanging out, still trying to figure out what you're doing, and... I'm going to tell you right now, you're taking control back. So the next, the bottom of the deck, I have the five of wands, um, reverse. So this represents um, an end of conflict, um, more like compromise. So you could be compromising or ending, just, it's just like an end of row of arguments and conflict and fighting. And you and your partner might be starting to turn a corner after a period of a difficult time in your relationship. So... You're gonna, I feel like some of you will find some common ground and solutions, whether you're staying in the relationship or leaving the relationship, but there is definitely peace and harmony that is coming towards you, and it is a result of you taking your control back, guys, um, and it's also a result of you finding more balance in around um, your personal life. So, if you had felt intimidated at one point with the Queen of Swords, reverse, um, it, it definitely shows that there's going to be a little bit more organization and around your relationship. So don't suffer in silence. If you were single, the five of wands reverse also indicates that your love life is definitely lacking some passion, spark, and it's, you may find that you have some answers to... I mean, maybe repair it, but there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel for my scorpions for the last two weeks in November. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like a, a personal, more in-depth reading, my information is listed below. Love and light.